What is going on, everybody? This is Mike from The Last Corvette. So today I got three pieces of the puzzle put together. I got the LED headlight, which looks a lot better than that old square halogen light. Uh, pretty bright. I'm probably going to take it for a quick little spin and see how bright it really is and maybe make some adjustments. Um, but anyway, that's wired to the main switch, uh, and I do have to replace that switch. It's super flaky. It's original. Also got a rear view mirror uh, that is basically connected right to the windshield frame. Um, it came with some self-tappers that were too big, so I drilled some pilots and uh, found some uh, self-tapping screws, sheet metal screws that I had laying around. And this mirror is large enough not only to see behind you, but also to the sides. So pretty cool. Head unit is still, uh, you know, needs, needs to be wired in. And then here is the tail light. So I ended up putting it on top of the roof. That way it's away from, we'll say, collision areas. And I did wire it to the brake light setting. This one has two settings. So basically like a running light or a low beam and then a brake light, which is a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna take it out and see how bright this LED light really is. Talk to you guys later. All right, so this is the LED headlight. It's like literally night and day compared to the halogen light. And um, it also obviously uh, eats up less power. And uh, I do have to replace the uh, light switch uh, just because it's, like I said, it's super flaky and cuts in and out. It's probably never been used, it's all rusted. So when I buy a switch for the head unit, I'll buy a uh, replacement pullout switch for the um, for the lights but anyway yeah looks pretty good talk to you guys later